What's up YouTube? In today's knowledge adventure, we're going to be talking about telemedicine, which has undoubtedly changed the healthcare industry by making healthcare services more accessible, convenient, and patient-centric. Although this technology continues to evolve rapidly, there's always two sides to a story. As you probably already know, we'll be going over the pros and the cons of telemedicine in the healthcare industry. Expansion. Telemedicine is the remote diagnosis and treatment of patients by means of telecommunications technology, or basically going to a doctor's appointment via video chat. Through this advancement in healthcare, patients everywhere are not only receiving increased access to care, but also quick, convenient care without having to leave home. Efficiency, am I right? From mental health support to being generally low cost, there's all kinds of ways telemedicine is helping the healthcare industry thrive. Like we just mentioned, telemedicine is changing the way patients everywhere are receiving care. Telemedicine has expanded access to healthcare services, especially for individuals in remote or underserved areas. With virtual visits being a thing, patients can now consult with healthcare providers without the need for travel, reducing barriers to specific healthcare needs. Telehealth patients have the option to schedule virtual appointments at their convenience, reducing wait times and eliminating the need for time-consuming trips to a healthcare facility. So, no more driving three hours for that appointment that you had to schedule four months in advance, right? Not only has telemedicine changed the way patients receive care, it also has improved patient engagement by encouraging patients to take a more active role in their healthcare. It provides easier access to their medical records, monitoring their health data such as calorie intake and step counting, and communicating with healthcare providers as needed. Personally, I love seeing how many steps I take in a day, and I love even more that my phone tracks them for me. It's always fun to see the fluctuations and how active I've been. Telemedicine is also important in aiding in rapid consultations in emergency situations, where immediate access to a specialist can be crucial. This is especially important in remote areas where specialized care is scarce or there is limited access to healthcare facilities. Telemedicine has been instrumental in expanding mental health services. Patients can access therapy and counseling from the comfort of their homes, reducing the stigma associated with seeking mental health care. I know you've seen all the apps out there that suggest you start taking care of your mental health right now. You know, like BetterHelp or Talkspace. Okay, maybe not BetterHelp, but you know what I mean. With apps like these, anyone can have access to medical professionals that work with their schedule and on their time. Having access to care like this is almost revolutionary because for some people, even just getting out of bed is too much some days. This makes it so much easier to take care of yourself and stay connected to someone that is there to help when it's needed the most. Sometimes waiting a month for your next therapy session is just not gonna cut it, and that's okay. With the advancements in telemedicine, it's made possible to speak with professionals that are able to not only diagnose issues, but also prescribe medications for patients as well. One of the biggest impacts telemedicine has had on the healthcare industry is the critical role it played during the COVID-19 pandemic. By providing a safe means of healthcare delivery, it reduced the risk of virus transmission in healthcare settings. There was no waiting in a room filled with a bunch of other sick people and no procedures that needed to be followed. It solved many issues regarding the spread of this disease, especially for those that should be quarantined. It was a safe outlet for diagnosis everywhere, aiding both doctors and patients worldwide. Before we continue, I'm going to tell you about a little project going on at the Techspansion headquarters. Does your social media content or business logo feel boring to you? Are you looking for something fresh and inspiring that truly fits the needs of your brand? Then elevate your style with Peachy Designs. We create stunning logos, graphics, and more. If you need anything from captivating logos, personalized business cards, event invitations, eye-catching posters and flyers, unique t-shirt designs, or even customized wallpapers and backgrounds, then PG Designs is the choice for you. With designs customized especially for your needs, deep attention to detail, real communication, and timely delivery, PG Designs is here for all of your graphic needs. For more information, I'll provide a link in the description. Just like all technology, there's always some downsides to it. No matter what, and there's no exception for telemedicine. Just as it has its pros, it also has its cons. 
From tech and insurance issues to limits in physical examinations, telemedicine may not be all that it's chalked up to be. One pretty big challenge that telemedicine faces almost every day is the hands-on physical examination that in-person visits provide. Some medical conditions may require physical touch or assessments that cannot be performed remotely. Like, if you're having some intense stomach pain and you probably might have appendicitis, a telehealth visit is basically just flushing your piggy bank down the toilet. It's a waste of time for you, the doctor, and your wallet because, yep, you guessed it, as much as it's advertised to be low cost and saving you money, it's really not. One virtual visit can cost up to $95 for just a single consultation. Trust me, I know. Thanks, Teladoc. A lot of times, providers are automatically out of network, meaning you're the one paying for it all because your insurance covers nothing. I'm talking from the visit itself and all the handy-dandy prescriptions completely out of pocket. Yeah, I learned my lesson real quick with that one. Even mental health support is not what it's made out to be. Remember when I mentioned BetterHelp earlier? Yeah, it's kind of a lot, but basically, BetterHelp is trash because it doesn't have real doctors, it spams advertisements to anyone it possibly can, and also overcharges the sh** out of its users. There is more to that, and we can deep dive on it if you're interested, so let me know. Anyway, transmitting sensitive medical information over the internet can raise privacy and security concerns. I mean, if hackers can access private, sensitive data such as bank information, you can pretty easily assume that this is also possible for your medical records. Ensuring the confidentiality of patient data is crucial, and breaches can have serious consequences. On top of confidentiality concerns, there's a lot of complaints of technical barriers and general issues. Not everyone has access to the necessary technology or a reliable internet connection which can create disparities in healthcare access. This is often referred to as the digital divide. As if not having a stable internet connection or just understanding basic technology wasn't enough, there's also technical glitches, such as audio or video problems, that can disrupt telemedicine appointments and affect the quality of care. During virtual consultations, it's very important to have these things or else subtle nonverbal cues from patients may be missed potentially affecting the ability to assess their condition accurately. Remember when we talked about emergency situations? Yeah, telehealth can assist in emergencies like if CPR or first aid guidance is needed until paramedics arrive on the scene. However, if it's something much more serious, telehealth is practically useless because physical intervention would be necessary. All in all, we definitely know telemedicine has made a huge difference in the healthcare industry. It has its good and it has its bad, so it's essentially a pick-your-poison party, just like everything we talk about here. It's important to note that many of these challenges can be addressed through advancements in technology, changes in healthcare regulations, and ongoing efforts to bridge the digital divide. Telemedicine is continually evolving, and while it has its cons, it has the potential to improve healthcare access and delivery, especially when used in conjunction with traditional in-person care. I hope you learned something today on our knowledge adventure and can apply it to your own life where necessary. Be sure to click that like and share this video with everyone you know. Be sure to leave a comment down below and tap the bell to be notified when a new video drops. We'll see you next time. Thanks! Expansion. 